Welcome to a recap of Under the Oak Tree first ebook on Amazon. Obviously, this is going to be a spoiler. Also, it is a very short summary that leaves out a lot of juicy details. The story begins with Maxie waiting for her husband Rifton's return. Thousand years later. Three years ago, a powerful dragon threatened the world, and Rifton was sent by Maxie's father, Duke Croiso, to slay it. Now Rifton's returning as a hero, and the Duke hits Maxie yelling no man would want her for a wife. He orders her to save her marriage with Rifton because a divorce would bring shame to his name. Then, Rifton arrives. He seems cold and angry, and Maxie has a flashback to her wedding night. Flashback. Maxie scared and confused. Rifton thinks Maxie's repulsed by him. All in all, pretty horrible. Back to the present, Maxie's scared because she thinks Rifton wants a divorce. Rifton's frustrated because he thinks Maxie's repulsed by him. To Maxie's surprise, Rifton takes her to his land, Anatol. On the way, Maxie thinks about the rumors about how the royal princess is to be married to Rifton. Rifton's frustrated because he thinks Maxie's repulsed by him. Suddenly, ogres attack them. Maxie sees an ogre get sliced up, vomits, and faints. When Maxie comes to, she's in a small inn completely naked. Rifton, incredibly embarrassed, explains Maxie wasn't able to breathe because of her strange underwear. Maxie is humiliated because her nursemaid had convinced her to wear them in order to please Rifton. Rifton takes care of Maxie, and Maxie confesses her concern that Rifton will divorce her to marry the princess. Rifton holds her, telling her that he regards their marriage with sincerity, which shocks Maxie. And then... This time, it was none too bad at all. When Maxie finally arrives at Anatol, Rifton gets angry because his castle hasn't been prettied up for Maxie. So he asks Maxie to take on the job of home improvement, saying he'll give her as much money as she needs. Then they take a bath together. Nope. Not this time. Maxie fell asleep. The next day, Rifton tells her again that he'll give her everything she wants. Maxie's worried because Rifton assumes she's lived in only luxury. She's afraid he'll discover she's not what he thinks she is. Anyhow, Rifton is just so sweet on Maxie, and Maxie discovers she's no longer afraid of Rifton. One day, Rifton is called to the capital city. Rifton doesn't want to go because, well, Maxie's with him now, but he can't ignore the king's orders, so he kisses Maxie and promises to return ASAP. I'll be back. And then it's... After Rifton leaves, Maxie seriously struggles with her home improvement task. Rifton's mage, Ruth, saves her, teaching her much about money and worldly things. The two strike up an unlikely mentor-student relationship. Maxie also meets two young squires, fanboying Rifton. They're like two happy puppies. So Maxie opens up and finds herself gaining confidence in talking to other people. Then, Ruth helps Maxie do something about a big dead oak tree in the castle grounds. Ruth uses magic to attempt reviving it, and while he does that, magic powers are absorbed by Maxie, meaning she might be able to become a mage. Ruth compliments her, disguised as an insult. You're quite interesting. Suddenly, there is an unwanted visitor at the castle. A man with a whole troop demands to be let in. Maxie bravely steps up as the lady of the castle, denying the vile man's entry. But this scumbag insults Maxie for her stutter and begins attacking the castle gate. <laughs> then Rifton shows up with his Rem Dragon knights. At once, the scumbag surrenders, but Rifton is about to kill him anyways when Ruth points out to Rifton he shouldn't kill in front of Maxie. Rifton is furious. Maxie is there. He immediately takes Maxie inside the castle. Maxie is terrified and thinks Rifton will strike her. But the first Amazon ebook ends there. Enjoyed the recap? Can't wait for the next one? Please support the author by purchasing the book on Amazon. And make sure to subscribe to our channel for more.